in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Many times when the devil wants to keep people fruitless, do you know what he does? He makes sure that the word of God cannot get to their mind, but every other thing can get to their hands. Sometimes Satan destroys you by giving to you. He makes sure that your mind never receives anything. Your mind can receive, can be buried while your pocket is full. And you will, anything that your mind has not received is not your own. If they pay you a salary that only got to your hand, you didn't receive a salary. And very soon you will know. No matter what it is, please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. If it has not been captured in your spirit and your mind, it's not yet your own. We possess things in our hearts and our minds first before our hands demonstrate that we have gotten it. Our generation is obsessed with having physical things because you see when you have physical things it can give a show of results are we together now and and it can suggest some form of progress but real progress is what happens in your spirit and in your mind say my spirit and my mind one more time say my spirit and my mind we're discussing fruitfulness now so that a brother and a sister aspiring to rise to be fruitful according to the word of God that you are not listen carefully that you are not allowed it is not given to you to really experience fruitfulness until that happens in your mind and your life and the Bible says the first seed that must enter your life and enter your mind please hear me it is not an investment idea it is not a business idea listen it is not it is not it is not um uh, what do we call it products and services they only will make sense when the word notice that the bible never tells us that the farm did not have other things but when satan came he only searched for the word and carried it and left every other thing there the word of God is an incorruptible seed. Listen, please, my brothers and my sisters, get this. The word of God is an incorruptible seed. The mindset, it says, let this mind be in you. Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind be in you. And verse 5. Let this thinking, let this perception be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. Let this mind permit this mind permit this mindset to be in you which was also in christ every blessed person every world changer whether in the kingdom and in the secular will tell you that your point of advantage is not what you have in your pocket your point of advantage is not a car your point of advantage is not the house the point of advantage is the quality of the information that your mind like a womb has received and is able to incubate show me a man whose spirit and mind has received from god i show you a man who there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to destroy his fruitfulness it is first in your spirit and your mind while that is happening you're still with your trouser that you use needle and thread to sew doesn't matter while that is happening you are still in your one room with leakages everywhere stay there while that is happening there are no members coming to the church there are still you your wife and three other members don't worry you don't get the anointing just by hands laying on you 
the hands are only like a tap the hand stops on your head but the real impartation goes into your spirit when you drink water your mouth allows the water to go in and it stops but the water does not stop in your mouth it gets into your system if you leave water just in your mouth it will not do much you need to swallow it when you swallow it go to bed every other thing starts automatically the moment it leaves your mouth leave the rest a system has already been designed you don't just say water now where are you okay you are here shift left no 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 don't worry when you swallow a drug you don't look at the drug and say drug please make no mistake it's my eye not my back there is a design your job is to get it within you and let it stay sometimes some drugs take longer than others to start working there are some drugs that can even cause you to be drowsy to go to sleep so that it can really work and then it will damage everything that it needs to destroy whilst working my brothers and my sisters listen to me the foundation of true success is not running around with proposals i have a proposal i, I need capital i need this i need that no the major work that anybody will do it's not even carrying certificates all around and say just give me a job yeah, and my life will change there's nothing wrong with those things those things are profitless when your mind is barren it will not make any difference it will only convince you sociologically that you are better than someone else but sooner or later you will see that your life does not recognize those activities as progress are we together now there are many pastors who think that ministry rises just because of connections and invitations if i can sing here or preach here or do this no no your real fruitfulness is within the richness of the word of god within you the quality of the wisdom your interaction with the wisdom of god everything that happens is only a revelation of what is going on within the parable of the sower the entire the entire story of that parable is about the hearts of men a sower and seed the word of god the living word joshua chapter one please give it to us and verse eight joshua chapter one moses is let's let's even start from verse five give us verse five we'll read down to verse eight there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life as i was with moses so i will be with you i will not fail thee nor forsake you he's doing something to his mind he didn't give me a new knife and say this i sharpened this knife it can cut through trees no he's doing something to his mind that i am empowering your mind that if you can believe this no man will sustain an ability to stand before you all the days of your life and then verse 6 it says be strong and of good courage for unto these people shall thou divide look at god speaking there are giants so and god is telling him how to share the land not how to fight the giants in god's mind victory was settled i've given you victory not by giving you anything physical i did something to your mind that's your victory be strong in the lord and in the power of his might we win not just by physical fights when our spirits and our minds agree let every devil clear the way it's true be strong and of good courage for unto these people thou shalt divide he didn't say you would die during war i thought joshua would say come oh god assure me these people have real knife will i die or i will leave already if god tells you you are going to share a land it will be stupid to be asking whether you will die god is saying look i've seen the end of it let me teach you how to share the land look look at victors look at fruitful people discussing sharing the land not fighting we are talking about jericho and other nations here you are standing before a fortified city and god is saying this is the slice this one will go to this are you getting it now so you see somebody that does not have gary and is saying this one will go to charity 
this one is going to go to my parents i have five siblings and i will take care of them and you enter and say what is happening and you say i'm planning i'm planning my victory you say you are planning your victory are you aware that your mother is in the hospital and we need just twenty thousand to help her you say i'm already planning i know that i will which i swear unto your fathers to give them seven only be thou strong what is the requirement be strong not just be skillful don't get me wrong these are factors but i'm arranging them according to order of priority be strong and very courageous that thou mightest observe to do according to all the law which moses my servant commanded thee Turn not from me to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper. This is God giving a man a recipe for success. And he's not saying anything about the war he's about to fight. He's not saying follow through the back door. And not, the instruction for victory would come later. He's giving him a winning formula. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate during day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous who will make your way it's not only god that makes a way he can empower you to make your way and if you are not ready to make your way prosperous it's a commitment it's a call to responsibility and thou shall have good success brothers and sisters life is systemic we are not the first to enter any realm we desire not at this level god has empowered people listen god has empowered people in business in ministry spiritual life whatever area god has listen god has allowed us to see the scars of people his his the bible is not just full of triumphs it's also full of failure and scars the bible says that all scripture were written for our learning that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so god allows the 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 the, the, the record of many people's limitations so that you will learn be fruitful is a command fruitful oh thou sower be fruitful and you're saying god change my life change my life and you're thinking in your mind capital oh god capital just give me five hundred thousand and god you can even go out of my life and the devil is saying i like this kind of prayer i like anything that takes the word of god out of a man's life he will leave the capital with you and take the word away and you will watch with wonder how you will mess up your own life If I talk to many of us now, I say, what are you trusting God for? In what area are you trusting God for results? I will be surprised how many of us are expecting external things to happen so that it can be proof that the word of God is working. No. When it has to do with fruitfulness, the major work is within. How many ministers will stay and build capacity with the word? There are ministers who do not have a Bible, but they already have suits in advance. And I believe in success. We teach you all the dimensions of success. But let me tell you, just putting pictures and photos of nice things on your wall and mesmerizing without the word of God is Scientology. You are just joking and nothing will happen. It is the word of God that empowers as many as believe him. He gave them power to become. Jesus said, follow me, follow the word and I will make you make you the maker is the word because it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why business people who reject god are in trouble ministry people who reject god are in trouble career people who reject god are in trouble it's amazing how many people leave church to go and honor an appointment because they've indoctrinated themselves to believe that god is a luggage vain is the strength of a man in this world that we live in it is the richness of the word of god the richness of your spiritual understanding that translates into your fruitfulness listen invest in understanding 
invest in understanding before you invest in clothes invest in understanding before you invest in hair invest in understanding before you invest in cars and houses and all of this to invest in understanding is not to buy books to invest in understanding is not to watch sermons to invest in understanding is to have the preparedness to pursue exact knowledge to buy a book is one thing to read it is another thing to understand it is another thing to apply it is another thing the labor dimension of fruitfulness is done internally please listen to me the dynamics of redemption happen in the grave after the third day when everything had finished the grave hades the place of the dead Jesus is done and he's ready to resurrect. Now he comes out in glory and we see the effulgence of his glory and he calls many sons into glory. Listen, if a major part of your life is visible for all to see, you are not successful. If a major part of your life is visible for all to see, in this kingdom, people are only allowed to see a minute part in fact it is even the manifestation most of the work is done within notice that your nourishment physically only a little part of it is seen they see the food and they see it entering your mouth every other thing the digestion etc etc be fruitful as, as God has helped me to rise and grow, I found myself, I'm, I'm becoming more and more emotional to my own surprise. Because I look at people and I can understand the heart and the burden of Jesus. That he says he looks at people as though a sheep without a shepherd. And I look, I say, oh, I now see why Africa is this way. I now see why our lives are this way. And do you know, many of us believe that because we have sincerity, life must answer to us sincerity is very important like we learned but it is not enough something about your understanding has empowered satan to destroy fruitfulness in your life something about your understanding please listen understanding is important when they employ you sam come it's looking sharp and smart Look at this. When, when you employ Sam, you are not employing your body. There are few employments where they border on size. Are we together now? Any size in many jobs can do. What they are employing, they are employing your understanding and the time with that understanding. A job is time plus understanding in someone's assignment. Are you seeing that now? Yes so the factor is your understanding i've given this analogy come come stand here for me please look at this reason with me for one moment let's assume that this brother god forbid there eh? i always give this example let's call this guy an arm robber that is a thief are we together and let's call this one a pastor a man of god looking sharp and then you are angry at this guy and you are praying that police will apprehend him because he's a nuisance to society. And you are praying that God will open doors for this man to go to the nations because you consider him to be a blessing. Now, shoot both of them. Now, it's, it's not good to talk about shooting and a pastor, but just in my example, shoot both of them and let them fall to the ground dead. Who really died? The dead body is on the ground now. Are you going to call the dead body a pastor? Is the dead body a pastor? No. Is the arm robber, is the dead body an arm robber? Neither the dead body, nor the, past, the pastor's body, nor the arm robber's body are the arm robbers or the pastor. The pastor has gone. The arm robber too has gone. Their bodies are there. So who is really the pastor? Talk to me. Who is really the pastor? This body? If Sam adds weight, will it scatter the anointing on his head? Will it make him to suddenly become mad because he's not reasoning well? Not necessary. In fact, not at all. Are we together now? If this arm robber suddenly adds weight, 
does it necessarily stop him from having the appetite to steal this is the arm robber and this is the pastor when satan comes he doesn't need the body he goes to the mind when the mind sits on the throne then the body becomes a slave to the mind the body becomes a helpless executor of the conclusions that have happened the board meeting happens between the mind and the spirit the body is not invited the body only executes the decisions that have been agreed upon same thing with the pastor when the holy ghost comes to you like he's coming to some of you now he's not concerned about the body he's concerned about your spirit then he's concerned about your mindset hand over to him your spirit and your mind so that he will plant in you the seed of understanding and watch how your body begins to reflect what has happened within you this my brothers and my sisters is how we are fruitful in this kingdom every other thing like creativity and all of these things only answer to this foundation say be fruitful be fruitful does not mean go and do business that comes later be fruitful does not mean go and look for capital be fruitful does not mean go and do all no no the heart preparation and your mind most believers have done well in the area of the heart the spirit but our minds are terribly unfruitful our minds continue to reject the spoken word of god concerning our lives and this is my assignment that if this year if we are to experience extraordinary fruitfulness then we have to trust god to begin to transit us listen carefully to transit us from different levels of understanding there is a requisite level of understanding that can receive what god wants to give you a man who is pastoring 5,000 members and a man who is pastoring 1,000 and a man who is pastoring 100 and a man who is pastoring 10. The difference is not their size. The difference is not their tribe. The difference is not even the God they gave their lives to. The difference can, may not even be the spiritual authorities they submit to. The difference is the construction of their understanding that someone has allowed the holy spirit to construct his value system to be so flawless that he knows how to engage the principles of the kingdom and the physical results show while he's activating these things every member that comes to him is in his house but something from within you calls them and it's not just anointing the health of your mind is a force too it can call the same way it can drive please listen to me my brothers and my sisters if you intend to be fruitful except it's just a cliche you know and, and and many times in africa i think this is the reason why we like signs and wonders not because they are such a big deal alone we like it because we believe it is a cheaper route to results just prophesy apostle why waste your time to teach this didn't god anoint you for me I mean just get bottles of oil here touch my head and just like that other person testified that you bear fruits that abide while while i was sitting down here we just had a brief maybe 10 seconds discussion with ajimi and he said he shared a scripture that just blessed me and he said the bible says strong men retain wealth powerful you are not strong just because you have it the ability to retain it means you have conquered the forces that try to take it from you are we together when you lift um, this weight you don't just pick it up and drop it down and win you must hold it for some time it's proof that it's, it didn't just happen you hold it there while you are shaking and then at a point they say you have, the point has been proven that this one you qualify to lift that weight so there are things that when you hold if you are not spiritual and you did not hold it indeed it will slip away but holding it for a while qualifies that you held it through knowledge we don't hold things with our hands our hands only support what our mind has held the real instrument for holding things is your mind when it's too heavy for your mind your hand can support but you don't hold things with your hand Is God speaking to us? 
you are seated here right now looking at me swimming through a maze of challenges maybe and believing that you came for koinonia so that you will experience transformation could be in ministry could be in business could be in whatever it is but then the lord is saying i am limited by your understanding there is something about your understanding that is not allowing me bless you and let me tell you this you see why jesus wept any man of god who is committed to transformation knows how frustrating it is it is difficult to get members to receive that's why we take out time and pray not necessarily because what we are saying saying it's not necessarily the prayer that brings it are we together when revelation comes the truth is there but praying that when the seed is planted that the minds of the people can receive let me tell you less than 10 percent of members really follow and grow on the information they are given that's why testimonies are scarce that's why there are supernatural instant testimonies but not sustainable ones you will hardly see a member testify back to back for two months he usually will come once and you don't expect to find him again because most of the testimony was not gotten through knowledge prophetic intervention one miracle here i fell under the anointing and the next day this happened so i get a job by a prophetic word but i never get promoted you see that because the understanding that will make me that 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 trustable is not there i had the privilege to have a conversation with a very very notable uh, man you know one of the you know the second in command in one of the great institutions in this nation and then while he was talking to me and we were discussing he told me he said my apostle let me tell you it is not true that there are no jobs it's just that the level of mental depravity of the average young man with risk and this is a born again believer he said we are frustrated every time we take people to come for interviews as they talk we just continue to look at them and the privilege of marking school of ministry scripts has taught me that it is true you know we insult lecturers we insult everybody they gave me they gave me i have done at least you know i love god and i love you i have marked things that i've said my god how in the world does this person plan to that's why teachings like it doesn't matter what happens in your mind just receive the anointing and rise we like it because we know that what is in there if god is going to remove it it will take time but i tell you don't fight with the spirit sit down and let him take that thing let him edit your understanding and plant the word of God. And my brother and my sister, you will watch your life rise to reflect what God is putting within you. This is another place where the error of speaking without transformation comes. Just to call it, no sir, to wear. It's like opening a tap and there is no container to receive it. The prophet was only comfortable to prophesy when there were vessels because the oil would be wasted without vessel. To just believe that you just keep calling things at random to your life with an empty mind is a joke. This is Scientology. And you have to be careful with all these materials we read around about the universe and all of this. Let me tell you, by the grace of God, God has granted us the privilege of light in this ministry from any dimension you look at it where vast people who are keen on knowledge so we don't speak from a standpoint of ignorance whether from business from ministry from whatever we are we are by the grace of god enlightened enough to provide the guidance that gives you balance i can tell you many people will continue to be frustrated because they lack the understanding on how the kingdom of god and his systems accurately work are we together Be fruitful is not just a prophetic declaration alone that happens automatically. Be fruitful leads you through a process. And the first of the processes is to allow the word of God to find expression in your spirit. Then to find expression in your mind. The moment your mind begins to transit, start rejoicing. With no idea, yes sir, start rejoicing. Because inevitably, the physical equivalent of everything that is already happening will begin to come to you in 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 circles of what you will think are coincidences but they are orchestrations based on a spiritual law 
I was sharing with the leaders and I said, every time the student is ready, the lecturer always shows up. Every time the student is ready, the lecturer always shows up. Be fruitful. He's not just speaking to your body. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. This is what will put money in your pocket. Be fruitful. It is not the capital that is given to your hands that makes you fruitful. It is not the business, the investment, or the job. The job is only a physical platform to give your understanding expression to reward you. Nobody prospers from business. Nobody prospers from investment. Nobody prospers from jobs. You prosper off your understanding. All of these things are simply platforms that give your understanding room. That's why two people can have the same platforms but different understandings. And all those vehicles will produce at different rates. Even in the good soil, it produces 30 fold, 60 fold. Hundredfold, the same way we have several people here in Koinonia. Many of you are members, workers, and leaders, but your results are produced at different rates. Same anointing, same mentorship, same programs, same teaching, different results, all producing. Are we together? If you want to be fruitful, your assignment. Is not to just start buying good clothes. Thank God for that. I say this because you see, young people have a pressure that society is pushing on people now. They look at you and say, since when did you graduate? You say, five years. Say, you are still dressing like this. And the next thing, God blesses you with 30,000. Off you go to somewhere in anger. I must buy stretch jeans. 30,000. I must buy this and that. And you shop it. You you. You, you, you shop physical things and then you put yourself under pressure and then you come back and say, look, this is to announce to you I have now improved. We say, why? You say, because I have a bigger house, because I have a bigger car, because I have a bigger this, I have that. To me, that, that is increased. No, sir. And your mind keeps saying you are wasting your time. You only bought something for someone else. I look at your mind and the only thing you have bought is a book because that's the only thing that has stayed in your mind. That's why nobody can steal the book because your mind caught it. Every other thing can carry the way because it only came around your life but not in your mind. The wealth must be gotten here before it comes here. Are we together? Yes. Apostle, now if somebody gives me money to start a business, can't I just start and prosper? You will fail. It's not an insult. You will fail. 99% of the people who want to start business will fail. Not because there are statistics of failure. Your mind, you do not have the understanding of the system to prosper. Anybody who wants to prosper, your first assignment is to look for references and models. Transformation is easy when there are references. Not activity, not action. No. Listen. When there is no reference, your, your mind operates with imagery. And the moment there is no reference for the possibility that you want to step into, you are not going there. Hmm. Who is God speaking to? That this thing you are doing, you are just dreaming until there is a reference that's why by the grace of god we continue to walk with the holy spirit that he continues to lift us to make us better references listen let me tell you this if you sit under an apostolic ministry walking in signs and wonders you will enter into that grace fast because there is a reference your spirit can easily pick are we together if your pastor is a poor man by the grace of God, you will grow in the word. But it's going to be difficult because there is no reference. There is an impartation that results on themselves bring to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's very important. That's why it's important. Every ministry and every organization rises to reflect the mindset of the leaders. It is true. Koinonia is a reflection of our mindset and also a reflection of our limitation. 
if you look at koinonia and you see anything wrong it is a reflection of the areas where personally my understanding and our understanding has not been well constructed our assignment is to bridge that gap as fast as possible through knowledge so that you will build what is akin to an edifice a proof of mastery as you grow notice you grow in the secret but you see your result on the members you stay in the secret and God brings a new level of the anointing and you start watching in the physical to see they were not there when God was giving you those new dimensions but then you begin to get it a time will come in this ministry you will start seeing people have cars in strange ways a time will come you will see people start having certain results will rise it is not just their personal faith is that there has been an upgrade in the secret place that can now receive that level of reality a time is going to come when we will get our own property and sometimes it can be within two three months and everything is put in place you would think it just came no the lifting in the spirit god now says now you have the capacity there are things if God gave me today, I prayed for it for years. But I look at it today and I thank God for not answering those prayers. Because had he given me, it is true that you would have been a waste. The same way you have been praying. Notice that certain things seem to never get answered in your miracle service request. And it is not always that demons are stopping it. It is God's mercy that is keeping it from you. Because it will be a waste. And if you lose it, it will take a long time before it comes. So God will keep it for you. And let you just wallow in your interpretation, calling it delay. Whereas God is keeping it like a faithful caretaker until your understanding is able to sustain it. Are we together? Yes. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate, 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 meditate. Value for the word of God. Listen, let me tell you, I, I look at people in this ministry and I am blessed the way God is lifting people in this ministry. Sometimes I, I, I know how I met them and I know how they came and see the power of the word of God transiting people the word of god is not a charm the word of god is a compendium of the principles of god the understanding of the systems of god and obtaining grace to engage them is what changes your life listen a day will come you will sit down and say god stop giving me money as far as my personal needs are concerned i don't know what to do and god says it's an irreversible process it will keep coming so god will say divert anyone to the kingdom but to stop it it can't happen again Wait till I teach you on wealth this year. God taught me something new. Ah! You see how you clapped? It's a reflection of the passion and the prayer. Oh God. Well, and it's not an insult. It's a wonderful thing. But let me tell you my brothers and my sisters. If this mind does not change, your life will not change. A man is in bondage when his mind is in bondage. No matter how free he is, he is bound. Watch my knee was bound and kept in prison many things happened to him but when they bound him he spoke loudest because his mind was still alive hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah encourage you sit down sit down we're going to pray we spend time worrying about people who don't like us do you know if they are not in your mind they can't do you anything wickedness only hurts you to the degree to which you allow it to step in it's true that you immune your mind that you come from a family where people say you too you want to rise you are also joining them you are coming to that that stupid place where there are you people are just jumping for nothing and you feel stupid and sometimes in that stupidity you open the gate of your mind and allow them to enter when they enter your mind you are gone set a guard over my mind 
it was a prayer set a guard Lord that no matter what happens around my life shield my mind and my life is safe if you injure yourself it can heal are we together but the Bible says a broken spirit dried the bones the bones can be healthy and the spirit broken and the bones begin to reflect what is happening you don't off this light by breaking every bulb one by one the light is reflecting the health of a generator and the health of a switch just because one switch is faulty every healthy bulb will remain off at the mercy of one switch the focus my brother and my sister is not in doing physical things this anointing and this lifting you see is not by physical connection I'm a good musician invite me I promise you that in the name of Jesus I will rise no let me tell you how to be invited stay in the secret place allow the Spirit of God to brood he will give you one song he knows what men cannot resist he will coordinate by all grace and anoint you one song that you will raise people and he will make sure the ear of the person who can help you hears that song and he says who sang this song come to my church he will array every other helper and he will anoint you so lavishly that day you you rise like a spring up and never go down again the systems of lifting are very easy when your understanding is in place it is difficult for God to lift a man whose understanding is unfruitful. You will frustrate the potentials of the spirit. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is a call to sit down. This running around and premature manifestation, comparing yourself with yourselves, the Bible says they are not wise. The key is to sit down. Someone will come dressing sharp like Sam is looking and try to intimidate you and say you have been in this area for years. The only thing I hear is ba 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 And your empty head, empty pocket, oh yeah, take and go and buy Indomie. And you feel stupid as you go to the shop with 1,000 naira and say, God, is this how you plan to disgrace me? And God will say, if I give you money, have I not insulted you? Listen, brothers and sisters, don't be so poor that all you have is money. If all you have is an object you remove from your pocket or an object that is stored in a bank out of fear, you are truly poor. Follow me when I finish those words. I told you be fruitful. We are just starting. Then there is multiply. Then there is replenish. Then there is subdue. They are not the same. Never be poor such that all you have is just money. If all you have is money, you are extremely poor because there are many things money cannot do. Most poor people agree with what I'm saying because they have been angry about money since, not because they understand it. You say this in an average church and people say, yes, it's true. It's just an opportunity to be angry at something they've tried to get. But it is true. God is giving you what is better than money. You know, this issue of saying this person is worth this, worth that. Oh, Pastor Alpha, you are worth 10 million. What, what nonsense. What do you mean I'm worth 10 million? No. What do you mean you are worth 100 million, 1 billion? Those are just carnal expressions. Sensual manifestations. And it's not just, oh, I'm worth the blood of Jesus. It's true too. But you can be worth something solid that is greater than money. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on. Listen, I have taught you that there are things when you have in life, only the poor need you. There are things when you have in life, only the rich need you. There are things when you have in life, only the educated need you. There are things when you have in life, only the uneducated need you. There are things when you have in life, only children need you. There are things when you have in life, only young people need you. There are things in life when you have, only old people need you. But my brothers, there are things when you possess in this life. When you possess it. There, listen, listen, listen. You walk life at your terms. The great see you and call you great. This is what God is giving you. Sit down. 
we are going to pray listen look at me make no mistakes to think all this labor is simply to get money to your pocket if that's all I'm doing with this teaching I've insulted you I deserve to be arrested for insulting you that bad if all that we are doing in koinonia is just to get you to a point where you can have a car or a house it's an insult you don't need to hear what I'm saying to buy a car or a house what I'm giving you will make kings stand before you and look at you listen they will come with their pride and hang it like Sheba in front of your door and stand and say teach us wisdom are you getting me I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that there is a more superior way of living I can meet Sam and Sam can bring out some money to sow into my life as a man of God and I collect what Sam has brought and I believe I'm valuable because he gave me some money I look at the money and smile and then I run away no listen when you get what I am teaching you and putting in your mind you will find out that the equation that the world uses a young man you save for 10 years and get a house that equation is for some people I'm exempting you from that list are you getting what I'm saying listen to me oh borrow money from the bank and build a house then repay over 30 years there is a dimension that when you have my brothers and my sisters an estate developer will come to you and look at you and say can I give you the privilege I've taught you something look at this isn't it amazing that the greediest people in the world are still givers it's just that you are not the one they give to let me tell you this there is nobody that is really greedy they just believe you are not deserving of that level of communication some of our parents we will call them and say daddy support me and they will refuse yet a man of god will come to the city and they will carry 10 times the amount you have been begging and kneel down and say sir can you give us the privilege to sow they are not greedy they just believe it's unfair to give you that much listen your pride should not be a car your pride should not be good clothes what you are receiving you have left the level of car and clothes since what you are waiting for now is the systems that bring them i want you to believe in what i'm telling you if you think right now what you are getting is what will give you a car what will give you a car finished since 2013 14. you are receiving what will subdue nations not a car what is a car what is a bank account how many what is a visa to go to abroad london is it jupiter listen be careful the things that represent your expectations don't shortchange yourself god is giving you the keys of the hearts of kings of nations not not some little one one jeep here one this and you say now i have a jeep my mind ah oh, no please a time will come we'll just sit down and testify and we'll be grateful god just did this and that and that To be an insult that what you are learning now is just for an estate now an estate a car my brothers and my sisters be patient with god and be patient with me and watch what your life becomes it's a guarantee that i give you by god we're not talking of buying a car we're not talking of buying clothes we're talking of shutting the gates of nations I had the privilege to meet with a very great woman of God who is also a business person and while we were talking she was telling me her itinerary and she said she's on her way to France right now that the president of France they need to have meetings I said this is it whereas some mediocre somewhere is there harassing people just because he bought an expensive shoe there are people deciding the destinies of nations a president of a nation like France calling for you to sit down this is what God is training you to become 
the level of anointing you are receiving is not to compare yourself with somebody in your family to say i am first that's mediocrity that is for somebody who is just passing koinonia to go to his house that's what that person receives as the gift for just passing to go i testify testify that your goodness is real i testify that your goodness is real your goodness is real i testify Your goodness is real, I testify. Listen, the work you are doing in your destiny is what you are doing now. A time will come when from morning till night, all that you will see is testimonies of men coming to serve your needs. It will surprise you and because you will not be a man of God as it were. You know, most times we've thought that these things only happen to men of God. It's not true. These are the systems of the kingdom. You've heard me say that we will all be great. And that we will all know ourselves. Keep watching. Keep watching what our children will be. Keep watching. Most times people don't believe truth until it's too late. There are people today who look and say, I used to know this man. It's not used to know. God is giving you an opportunity to catch a flight. That only the hand of God can limit where it is going. It is by the Spirit. Listen. This tonight is a message of hope. So that this pressure to prove a point, throw it out of the window. You have left that realm since. Hear what I'm telling you. You have left that realm since. Pressure to prove a point. Oh, apostle, I'm, my desire now is to trust God. Let me just get a four-bedroom flat. And God says, but you got a four-bedroom flat right when Koinonia started. It is just coming through the loins of time to manifest. Who through faith subdued kingdoms. There are some of you, let me tell you, when you're, you see, this is why when you see the physical manifestation of certain people's results, the level of their transformation does not allow them to start physically at certain levels. You see God jump to a height. is because of the vastness of their level of understanding. There are some of you here, you will be surprised that your first car will be a jeep and people will be angry not because a jeep is anything god says if if i will have to be this is the fairest i can be to you based on how you have transited and then you will be surprised to find out that while you were thinking god would just give you a two-bedroom flat and this and that god will bring you to a five bedroom flat and God will say this is just to give you the convenience to start out in life and people will be surprised because it's not in your heart it's amazing how believers mark time under certain achievements it tells you that they didn't plan to go far one man of God sent me a text sometime and he said somebody sent him five thousand dollars said apostle i can't believe i'm holding dollars five thousand dollars and he was shouting was saying, oh god thank you and i sent him a text after a long time i said mister <clears throat> be careful that can be the very reason why you go down if your whole life is worth five thousand dollars you are very small are you getting what i'm saying that one person here one person will be able to have the resources that can completely clear an IDP camp, one person, without making noise. This is what God is raising you to become. And you will not even consider yourself to be a kingdom financier doing that. You are just somebody who loves God. Hi. Be patient. Be patient. I cause the spirit of hurry. Be patient. Be patient. Watch what our children in Koinonia become. When they are five, ten, you will look at their lives and you will see how wealthy they will become independent of your contribution by engaging the word themselves. There are some of you seated here right now and all you are dreaming of is starting your church and the anointing on you with all humility 
even many overseers do not have it and God says sit down there just sit down because I'm not giving you a church I'm giving you territories territories not just a small church to flatter yourself and compare yourself between a group of pastors and say I am better no sir no sir I testify I testify that your goodness is real I testify, testify that your goodness is real. Hey, your goodness is real. I testify. that you think God did not answer he's answered it since it's just that you didn't know how the answer comes he answered it since some of you God looked at your prayer request and all he saw was a blank sheet because everything you wrote you are bigger than it already and God did not see a need God is saying you've not given me a prayer request you wrote nonsense there Lord, if I can just have 30,000 every month, and Lord, if I can, and God just looks at it and says, the level of the word that is in you can only allow for minimum a hundredfold return. I say, God, but I'm a village boy, I'm a village girl, and God says, leave all of that one and stay with me. Listen, beware of the pride of unbelievers. Respect unbelievers who have gotten knowledge. But there are many unbelievers who are ignorant and you see them doing making all kinds of noise they will rubbish you and make you look small i sense that there is a spirit that is just going around great believers to make them feel small to make them look like we have waited so long is it that god cannot give you a shoe what is in a shoe that god cannot give you what is in a cloth you mean you are still using a, a second hand with one ah, but you should have left this level and you go back feeling stupid and god says my daughter forget about this Are you ready to pray? Be fruitful. He's giving you the keys of nations. The keys. The keys. The keys. Not the key of a territory. The keys of nations. Listen. Today by the grace of God. Koinonia has become like a place of pilgrimage. You cannot believe the number of people who want to come here for visit. I've had to restrain many of them pleading with them because I think that we may not have the facilities to truly honor them as we should. It is not location. It is not where you go. When you stay with God and the light shines from you, my brothers and my sisters, you will become a praise of nations that people will look at you and our family will say, we've been praying for rising. We didn't know God answered it in a person. We thought God would shift us to another territory. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit and say, Lord, thank you. Though my beginning may be small, though my beginning may be small, but my latter end, though my beginning may be small, if someone pray, I am fruitful. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my pocket. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in a job. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my business, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am fruitful. Gentiles to my light. Gentiles to my light. Are you praying, Koinonia? Be fruitful. Be productive. God is altering your thoughts, altering your understanding. We win by the help of our spirit man and the health of our understanding God is showing you the laws of the spirit showing you success systems take your eyes away from the physical results I assure you nothing will stop them from coming men may mock you they may laugh at you 
Where is the increase in ministry if you are really anointed? Where are the invitations to travel around? If you are really anointed, who is placing a demand on your grace, they will say. But forget about them and stay with the God of all flesh. Let him walk upon your spirit. Let him walk upon your mind. Allow that pregnancy that is in your mind. Allow it to reach maturation and watch the wonder that you will produce. Your goodness is real. Testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge the spirit of impatience. Listen. God is a God of speed. But God only gives you your inheritance when you are built up. Everybody say built up. Be careful with unhealthy comparison. Business people listen. Career people listen. We were all classmates. Now this one is like this. This one has two houses. And I am here. Nothing is moving. Be careful. If you see that in your life, know it's an attack. Listen, listen. Especially for our dear sisters. Listen to me, my adorable ladies. Let me tell you this. You listen to what this arrogant world without Christ is telling you. You will not amount to anything. They will make you feel stupid for loving God. They will make you feel stupid for staying and growing. You will look so cheap and weak, but you stay and let God adorn you like Hadassah and lift you like a trophy in one day, one day. What is a prayer point of nations come to you because you are prepared? Don't be ashamed of where you are. You are still fruitful. Don't be under pressure. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. If you can conquer the pressure of proving a point, you have conquered life. The pressure of proving a point. I need to prove to the people in my family. I need to prove to the people in my village. They've been saying, what are you doing in Zaria for five years? Eh? Are you cursed that your life is not rising? Hold on. When God is done with you, my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by listen let me tell you a humorous story and then we'll pray some time back I was to inv be invited somewhere one of the places that I went to minister and a man of God was called and asked and said do you know Apostle Joshua Selman and he said well I've heard about him but I don't know him and the man at the other side of the phone advised the, the people to invite me and said Can't, we don't know this man don't invite him rather invite A B C D and the person at the phone said, you don't know the encounters I've had with this man. It's impossible for us, no matter what you say, we must invite him. That's what happens when you wait for God. There are men that continue to pray secretly. Why don't you fall so that it will justify their prophecy? But my brothers and my sisters, when God puts something in your spirit and puts something in your mind, you have watched people waste their time forever. They will waste their time forever. It is the finger of God that lifts you and keeps you. They will finish a meeting and say, don't promote Pastor Alpha. Sit down here. He will never rise. Just when they finish, the man goes back and by the next day, the promotion letter is out. Listen, there are not too many people like us on earth. It's important for you to understand this. It's not pride. It's a breed that is plucked out of fire. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by.
wish and admire today will be the things that will follow you tomorrow you would drive them and they say we can't go you called us you called us but he seek ye first the kingdom of God and his methodology his systems and all other things is a guarantee except this word your certificate can only take you so far your intellect can only take you so far but my brothers and sisters I commend you to God he says I commend you not just to your certificate not just to the advantage of your tribe not just to your family connection I commend you first to God and then to the word of his grace and he leaves you with an assurance that it is capable of building you up and giving you an inheritance a time will come those who mock you will give up they will see that you have risen to a height and a level where it will be stupid to talk about you the lifter of men lifting you I like you to decree and declare no power is stopping me from being fruitful fruitful in my spirit fruitful in my mind koinonia you pray shamakatoro satia embrekato sakatora skima hashalakatos entali kaproha sekete balakata the anointing is growing in my spirit i'm full of the power of god full of the holy ghost some may trust in shadows and others horses but i trust in the name of the lord i may not have relatives to back me i may not have a wealthy family to support me but i have received god and the word of his grace that is able 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 to lift me outside i will pray why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal 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 hallelujah be fruitful carry that mentality every time the word of god says be fruitful the devil takes you to your atm and says how much is there every time the word says be fruitful he says so why are you thinking of paying rent you are even trusting god to raise the money for the rent does that look like fruitfulness let me tell you the devil is a liar he's a master of the sense realm and if you dwell there he will say where are the members you have 10 members and you have the effrontery to say you are fruitful are you ready to prophesy to yourself spirit soul and body i am fruitful Decree and declare. I will make you exceeding fruitful. Nations will come out of you and kings out of your loins. Businessman prophesy. Yes, sir, with no evidence, I am fruitful. I am fruitful. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. Man of God, are you praying? I'm fruitful. The anointing is at work in my life. Nobody can reject the investment of the Holy Ghost upon my life. It may take time, but I'm rising in the name of Jesus Christ. My family members may not yet see the hand of God upon my life. Everybody around me may doubt the finger of God. I may even doubt it myself. But I give to the command. I am fruitful. I am fruitful. In spite of your failures, I am fruitful. Declare fruitful. Hallelujah. That's my mindset. Fruitful. 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 Take your eyes away. I am fruitful. The landlord harasses you. It's true. I'm fruitful. Still fruitful. You may not have money to prepare a meal. But in the name of Jesus, God is doing something. The wealth is not transferred to your account. The wealth is transferred to the soil of your mind. Ah, God. 
He's an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom power. Don't forget Philippians. Let this mind, let this mindset, let this body of understanding be in you. Listen, hold on. Every great man you know is who he is, not because of the wealth and the affluence. The wealth and the influence is a receipt for something you have paid for. When you see money in your pocket, that money is a receipt. You get receipts only when you have bought things. The good shoe is a receipt. The good clothes is a receipt. The first class flight is a receipt. It is not the reason why you are blessed. It is the proof that you are already blessed. Are you getting me now? How many of you know that sometimes when you go to a mall after you shop, you have to patiently wait on the queue for the next cashier to attend to you? That's what is happening to many of us. You have already bought the things. You are at the point of completing that transaction and then life will hand you the receipt. It will come as a car. It will come as open doors. It will come as you never having to follow the bus for anything again. It will come as you having the convenience to do certain things for the kingdom. But until then, be patient. For some of you, you are, you, have, you are standing on that queue, just waiting for your turn to come. And my brothers and my sisters, you will come up with a level of results that will surprise you. Can I tell you this? Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Most times you see, because of the multiple failures, like the man who planted, when you plant by the wayside, when you plant by the rock, when you plant upon thorns, that experience alone may make you think even the good soil will fail. But you see, when that seed begins to grow, and becomes a great tree it will not only bless you it will bless the birds it will bless everybody who is passing around that's what god is doing with us are you getting what i'm saying very very important you are receiving something you are receiving the anointing but you are receiving an understanding so don't let the devil come and begin to talk jargons you will fail in your life you will fail in your business you will fail in marriage you will fail in um um financially you will fail spiritually that organization you cannot be able to run an organization you, you cannot be able to run a ministry who told you that do you not know that it is wisdom and knowledge that creates stability they are the stabilizers of destiny and that's what god is doing so we are going to pray lord reconstruct my understanding to be able to receive the things that will make me fruitful lift your mind your, your voice and pray reconstruct my understanding reconstruct my understanding lord there are things in my mind that may not allow me to be fruitful i acknowledge them are you praying i acknowledge that there are limitations territorial limitations tribal limitations sociological limitations i've interacted with a kind of people who have kept me bankrupt mentally they may be my family members they may be my relatives they may be my classmates they may be well-meaning people if someone pray lord i give you the allowance to alter my understanding there is something I know or do not know about ministry that is allowing me to be unfruitful. There is something I know or I do not know about finances that makes me to keep going up and down. There is something I know or do not know about the anointing that doesn't allow me to host very superior levels of grace. Quicken my understanding. Quicken my understanding. Quicken my understanding. Hallelujah. I apologize for taking time the holy spirit is giving me a scripture isaiah 11 and verse 2 we're still praying. isaiah 11 and verse 2 can you still have it projected isaiah 11 and verse 2 let's see if we can find it let me turn it here to save time isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2 
I'm handing over to you a secret. It's a secret that make men really great. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The sevenfold manifestation of the spirit of God. And the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Verse 3. It says, and shall make him of quick understanding. Quick. All of these spirits synergize themselves to make sure your understanding is quick. This is what you have to pray. A quickened understanding is a real miracle. You can have as a student a 5 point CGPA. Yet your understanding is unfruitful. The fortitude to understand life, to know wisdom, is understanding. You become a priority personality by default. Your understanding upgrades you. Like you are upgraded from economy to a business class to first class. Your understanding upgrades you to a level in life where you never have to come down again. You are not trying to stay. It has stabilized you at a realm. Are you ready to pray finally? Lord, quicken my understanding. I confess that there are gaps in my knowledge. I confess that there are gaps. I, I am learning already, but my foundation is fighting my mindset. I am, I am still loyal to old ideas. I am still loyal to old concepts. Lord, it's taking me a hard time to acclimatize myself to a new system of lifting. I cry for mercy and I cry for grace. Is someone praying? I am still sympathetic to a, a depraved level of thinking that will not allow you to do business with me. Hallelujah. A prophetic word is only useful when there is a vessel the vessel is your heart the vessel is your mindset when the holy spirit renews your mind it's like it's like a welder creating a container and once everything has been welded well then prophecy can deposit that spiritual investment upon you and you will find out that you will retain strong men retain wealth not money wealth the wealth of the anointing retained by strength not the strength of the flesh be strengthened in your inner man inner man that's where true true strong people are even physically if you are stronger than me it doesn't guarantee that you can defeat me is that true because my mind can create a strategy that will defeat you that's how it is it is not always to the physically strong it is not always in physical agility but the health of your spirit mind and a well-developed understanding you see i teach you and continue to stand with the holy spirit to work on our minds because as your mind begins to seek transformation it must be guided are we together the mind is like a womb seeking for any kind of seed and there are other seeds in other sessions i will show you that there is the part two of that parable that jesus gave we'll go to the part two while men slept that's the part two of that story another sower also came and sowed a seed and left so there are many sowers and there are times you can open up your heart because you want to succeed you open up your heart to zodiac and scientology and all kinds of things to try to manipulate the cosmic world to release energy and now once have i spoken and twice have we heard that all power belongs to god there are certain liftings if it happens it is only god that can do it are we together i declare over your life in the name of Jesus, be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, be fruitful. In your spiritual life, be fruitful. In ministry, be fruitful. In business, be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, for many of you, it will do you like a dream. 
for many of you this is the week that your manifestation begins in the name of Jesus and I speak over you that my God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency that you will abound in every good thing I decree and declare be fruitful be fruitful in your spirit mind be fruitful in your mind may the spirit of grace coordinate you to the exact information required for your lifting and I pray for courage there are people you have to say no to and have the grace to say look I love you but I have a track record of you being the reason why my mind will not receive the things of God you don't have to hate people but it's time to construct your environment creatively to allow the Spirit of God bless you you don't have a serious meeting outside on the road you go to a boardroom you need to make that atmosphere for the spirit of revelation to come and sometimes you need to take away distractions 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 it can come in form of good friends who will never allow you sit down and think and this affects all ages and all ranges there are people who have made a commitment to go nowhere you don't have to hate them like abraham when you get to the base of the mountain plead with them to remain there if not, they will not allow you offer Isaac and be the father of nations. Are we together? I decree and declare this weekend for many of you, by the spirit of the living God, return with strange testimonies. There is an increased grace for performance in this house. I decree again in the name of Jesus, return with strange testimonies. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. All through this week, the weekend into next week, I'd like you to carry this mindset. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. The focus is not just on your hands. The focus is on your mind. Engage what I've told you. Go and sit down. Go on YouTube. Sit down. Don't search nonsense. Don't go on YouTube and sit down searching movie and watching this. I was teaching the leaders, in my opinion, I'm not on any social media platform, but I think one of the most useful social media platforms, in my opinion, is YouTube. It's true. There is almost nothing that is needed for your lifting, even customized to edit nonsense that you will not find there. You have the liberty to edit a lot of things and go for exact knowledge. Whether it is about the anointing, whether it's about this, you can see it and get it away if it's not useful for you. But take away laziness. Please, please, please. The phone God gave you is for your mind. Are we together? Yes. The song is ministering to your spirit. The truths are ministering to your spirit and your mind sit down sit down wake up in the night be intentional carry a notebook carry videos carry this you may not have money to buy cds but god was able to ask somebody to send you two thousand it's not just miracle alert it's so that you can buy data and sit down what is the secret to this and this engage your mind engage your mind engage your mind don't be like the foolish virgins. Engage your mind. Carry extra oil. It was time that showed who was wise and who was foolish. All of them started as the same women, all virgins. Time is what separated the wise from the foolish. Are we together? Please. Minimize roaming around the street. If you cannot sit down in one place, it's an attack on you. It truly is an attack. If you don't have anything doing outside, for God's sake, go back to your house. Go back to your house. You must not just go around visiting everybody. People are busy. The time for visitation will come when you enter your Sabbath. But for now, sit down. I expect every young man to be up and doing. You wake up tomorrow morning, you don't just yawn and cross your legs. You get up and 
and sit down. It's time to do something. In the name of Jesus, what am I doing today? I'm learning on the anointing. You write. You are studying scripture. Remember, God is giving you an international ministry. And you are not making noise. You don't need to know how much the price of suit is. Settle down now. Your one, two, three hours daily prayer. Keep to it. Keep to it. Keep to it. You wake up in the morning. The cold is too much. Say, I resist you in the name of Jesus. I must get up. The foolish man, because of the weather, will not plant. He will say it's too cold. And he will not have anything to reap in harvest. Are we together now? And please, let's help ourselves. You see me speaking to you passionately, our time is gone. If you see somebody who is not settling down seriously, and not serious with his life, if you have access and you are a stakeholder in his life, you can call him and say, look, my brother, I appreciate you a lot, but you are gallivanting up and down. It's time for you to sit down. Today, you are in this person's house. Next tomorrow, you are there. Next tomorrow, you are in Abuja. Next tomorrow, you are in Lagos. Next tomorrow, you are in Mina. Please sit down. One thing is needful. This is what Mary has chosen. Sit down. Your phone should not be for watching movie. Your phone is not for watching Indian film. It's not for soup opera. You will not die if you don't watch those things. My brothers and my sisters, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There is a price for greatness. Every time you want to slack, just remember your children. Whether or not you have physical children. Remember your children. Remember your aged parents. Remember the generation. It will jack you up. Sleeping 12 hours, you are causing your destiny. Are we together? You must trust God for grace. I told you, especially for the gentlemen, minimize snoring your night time. Night times are times when revelations come from heaven, looking for men who are alert to come into their lives. Go and sell two of your suits and buy data and sit down. If you need to trust God to buy a good phone and it is for the purpose of this, I'm praying for you. May my God give you a good phone. If the purpose of buying a phone is to prove to somebody that the word of God is working, may God make what I preach tonight, after all this time I've spent, to really re-echo in your head again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. We give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. You are here and you are not born again. Jesus said, "Ye, please keep standing. I notice that every time I'm about to make the altar call, people start leaving. Please, that's not correct. Let's be patient. When the altar call is taken, let's respect them. There are people here, on hearing me speak, the Holy Spirit began to speak to you. He said, there is need for a renewal. There is need to begin a fresh walk. You are here, overflow one, two, three, and anywhere else online. I want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to Jesus. And for many of us who dedicate your life to Jesus, there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be afraid of. Two minutes for this. Our time is gone. Wherever you are, summon the courage. Make your way quickly and come to the front. I believe there has to be someone Jesus is talking to. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for someone to come before you come. Is there someone God is speaking to tonight? You want to rededicate your life? Please, if there are people outside, clear the way for them to come in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I believe there has to be somebody. Are we together now? Are there people coming? Let me know. God bless you. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Now, lift your hands, everyone, please. If you're joining them, come quickly and join them. Except for the one holding a child, you can stand with your child. Um, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. You're welcome, ma. Quickly, quickly, please. If you're coming from any of the overflows, please rush, please rush, please rush. Our time is gone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Now, I'd like you to pray after me and please mean it from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word and I have come to you just as I am. I surrender my life I surrender my all to you. I receive you as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I decree and declare that from today, I move forward ever and backward never. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for these ones. You have brought them by your spirit. I pray that you preserve them. 
may they begin a journey tonight oh god that will last through eternity i decree and declare by the spirit of the living god that you will go from glory to glory this is the beginning of great days in your life in jesus name amen thank you so much please follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you just follow this gentleman and there will be a group of people to receive you god bless you hallelujah praise the lord hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain